and welcome to this week's Stay Home Science. Today we're going to be thinking about something really important that we all drink every day, and that is water. I've got a bottle of dirty water here, and it's dirty from lots of mud from outside. Today we're going to be making a filter to clean it up. A water filter is a device which removes impurities like mud and dirt from water. There are many different ways that you can do this, but I'm going to be using a plastic bottle, scissors, some cotton, an elastic band, cotton wool, sand, charcoal, gravel, and some larger stones. First, take the cloth and stretch it over the end of the bottle. Secure it with an elastic band. Cut the top half off the bottle and place it upside down inside the bottom half of the bottle. Now add a small handful of cotton wool to the bottom. Now add a layer of sand. Then a layer of charcoal and a layer of gravel. Add a layer of larger stones and the filter is complete. Now it's time to add our dirty water. We can see the water at the bottom of the filter here isn't coming out completely clean, but it's an awful lot cleaner than it was to begin with. This is because every layer of our filter has an important job and they work together to clean the water. The larger stones at the top, as well as the gravel, filter out the larger impurities, and these can be mud, dirt, and even leaves and insects. The charcoal has an important job. It removes the impurities that are too small for you to see. It does this through a chemical process called adsorption, where the impurities stick to the charcoal surface. The sand and the cotton then filter out the final small impurities from the water. And the longer it takes to go through the filter, the cleaner the water will be because this is where the layers are all working together. If you put the water through the filter a couple of times, it will come out cleaner and cleaner each time. I put the water through the filter for a third time and you can see here that it is almost completely clear. And this is what we had to start off with. Although the water looks to be a lot cleaner than it was before, it does still need to be boiled before you can drink it. Thanks for watching, see you next time.